Welcome to my engineering drawing playlist. Today I will be explaining projections of points with examples. So let's see first of all the description of the given problem. Draw projections of the following points. First, point R is 10 mm behind VP and 20 mm above HP. Second, point S is in HP and 22 mm in front of VP. And third, point T is 20 mm in front of VP and 25 mm below HP. So let's start with the first point R. So for each and every problem of the projection of points, you need to decide whether point R is in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant or fourth quadrant. So let's see. Here it is given to you point R is 10 mm behind VP. So here you can see this is a VP and behind VP that means it can be in second quadrant or it can be in third quadrant. Next it is 20 mm above HP. This is the HP and 20 mm above HP that means it is in second quadrant. So if you see parallelly behind VP and above HP that means it is in second quadrant. Here it is given to you point R is 10 mm behind VP. So let's say 10 mm behind VP. So it can be anywhere over here. Next it is given to you 20 mm above HP. So here you can see this is HP and 20 mm above HP that means it can be over here. So this intersection that is actually the position of the point R. Now we want to draw the projection of this point R. So first you know that observer is over here for the front view and always the projection of the point R is on VP for the front view. So here you can see R dash because of you know that front view is denoted by dash and for the top view observer is here and so that you can see the projection of this point R is on HP and that is known as top view. So here it will be small r on the HP. So this is actually the concept of the projection of point, but it is actually 3D representation. We have to draw in 2D representation. So for the 2D, this is the direction for the drawing plane. And now you just consider that this is HP and this is VP line. So this is the line for the VP and here it is a point R that is 10 mm behind VP. So this is 10 mm behind VP and 20 mm above HP. So this distance is 20 mm. So I can say 20 mm above HP. So it is the point R. Now as you know that here it is R dash for the front view. So this is R dash. It is always projected on this vertical plane. And for the top view, it is R. So for the top view, it is R on the horizontal plane. But you know that horizontal plane is always rotated 90 degree in the clockwise direction with respect to this point. So see over here carefully, it is 90 degree rotated with respect to this point. So your R point will be over here. So this is a position of the R and R dash and that is known as actually projection of point R. So now you can draw it very simple. First of all draw XY line. Then this is the vertical reference line for the R dash and R. You know that R dash that is 20 mm above the XY line. So take 20 mm from the XY line. So you will get R dash and mention the dimension also because of it is given to you. And here it is 10 mm and you know that HP is rotated in clockwise direction. So this distance is also 10 mm. So take 10 mm distance from the XY line so that you can locate the R point and mention it also 10 mm. So this is actually the projection of the point R and that you need to draw in the examination only. 
this portion and this portion is only for the understanding so is it clear my dear friend it is actually so simple now take the second point point s here it is given to you point s is in hp so it can be anywhere over here or here but it is given to you 22 mm in front of vp so 22 mm in front of vp so this is 22 mm and this is on hp that's why it is over here now for the front view you can get s dash over here on the vp that is known as the front view then for the top view it is on hp and that is denoted by s now it's done for the 2d drawing so first of all draw hp line and vp line now first of all look at the point s that is actually given to you 22 mm in front of vp so i can take 22 mm so that you can locate the point s now for the front view s dash will be on the vertical plane and for the top view s point will be on hp now you know that hp is always rotated 90 degree in clockwise direction so see over here carefully it will rotate 90 degree with respect to this point so your s point will be over here so now you can draw it easily first of all draw the reference line hold as x y and then draw the line for the vertical plane now mention it s dash and s is 22 mm below x y line so take 22 mm and so that you can look at the s point so this is the projection for the point s now mention the dimension that is given to you in the description so here it is 22 mm so very simple now it's done for the last point t that is 22 mm in front of vp so here you can see vp and in front of vp so it can be in first quadrant or it can be in fourth quadrant and 25 mm below hp so now it is defined it is in fourth quadrant now i am going to locate the point t with respect to hp and vp 20 mm in front of vp so this is 20 mm in front of vp and 25 mm below hp so here it is the point t now for the front view you can see t dash on the vp and for the top view you can see t that is on the hp now for the 2d representation draw hp and vp line now first of all look at the point t that is 20 mm in front of vp and 25 mm below hp so this is the point t and so that you can easily now look at t dash for the front view and t for the top view so it will be here now it will be rotated in the clockwise direction with respect to this point so it is like this so t point will be 20 mm below this reference line so now you can draw it first of all draw the reference line x y then draw the vertical line now you can look at t and t dash so first of all look at the t point that is 20 mm below hp that means 20 mm below x y line then t dash that is 25 mm below this reference line so it will be 25 mm below this x y line mention it so it is very simple to draw projection of any point so in the examination you have to draw this portion only for the projection of point t this figure and this figure only for the understanding now at last very simple question what will be the effect if the point is on hp and vp write your answer in the comment box 
Thanks my dear friends for watching this video. Press the like button to appreciate it.